I'm gonna show you a simple, easy, and cost-effective way to clean your makeup brushes like a professional. So go and grab all your makeup brushes, your sponges, and let's put it to the test. Are they really clean or what? So go ahead, grab them all up, and let's get started. You ready? I wanna give a big shout out to the Royal Nation. Thank you so much for always tuning in to my videos. I greatly appreciate it. Now, again, if you having breakouts, if you're a mature age or maybe not, maybe you're just starting out and you really don't know what to use to clean your makeup brushes. It's so many things out there on the market um, that say that it will get your makeup brushes really clean. Now, I am a full face girl, meaning I use powder, liquid, I use it all, okay? I use it all. So, um, and I've already cleaned these brush here. I, I clean my beauty blender, I clean my brush. And before I, now this is my first time ever doing it this way. But when I saw how wonderful it is working, I decided to go and get my camera, my light, and share with you what I have discovered, okay? Absolutely, I'm blown away. Like I said, I this is my first time trying this out, blown away. So let me show you the things I have tried. I've tried the makeup brush shampoo. Okay. Um, now, when I went to the dermatologist, I asked her what she recommends. She told me to get this. Now, I've shown you um, Dr. Barner um, soap a while back when I was talking about getting that, mm -hmm, that smell out, out your hair, your wig, or whatever. Um, I introduced this to you all, and I absolutely love it. Stand by it 100 percent so i still love this uh, but i did use it on my brush my makeup brushes and it was just okay it really it, you know i still saw something and it just really wasn't getting it the way that i wanted to so now also i have used done you know done is good for everything especially to get rid of that grease build up so i have used this as well but what i'm getting ready to show you beat this hands down okay so the first thing that you want to do this is another blender that i have it's not a, a beauty blender but it's another sponge that i have here so the first thing you want to do you want to get a uh, facial cleanser oil oil base and if you go back and look at a video i was showing you how i cleanse my face especially if i've had a full face makeup on that day but she said get an oil base she didn't recommend this one exactly so if you have another oil based cleanser that you use on your face especially when you double cleanse that's what you need. So all you need to do is just squirt that through. And I think she used coconut oil. I think that's what she used. And you want to get it all in there. Get it in there really good. I was doing my makeup and uh, it's my first time taking out a package, this sponge, and it was just hard. I could not get it to do anything. And I was like, well, I'll just try that later. But I really like it, but you have to really get it super, super wet. And it just really just expands. And it is soft. It's not hard like I thought it was. And I got this from Amazon. And I really really love it um a young lady on youtube on her channel 
uh, was talking about it and recommended it. So I decided to give it a try because, yes, I love product. This, now, she didn't say anything about this. Now, this is something that I just wanted to do. And I'm glad that I did because I pour this all over. You want to keep squeezing And I went back and I cleaned some brushes that I thought that was clean. It wasn't. Nope. It wasn't. Did you see that? So now I'm just going to get some antibacterial hand soap. Okay, this is the hand soap I use in my dispensers. Soap dispensers, okay? And then you get... Not hot, but say warm water. And when I tell you this, I mean, it, most of the time you're going to have, especially if you do um, wear makeup, you should have a oil-based cleanser anyway. And if you don't, you need to get one. I just like this because I really, I like the price point and it does get the makeup off really good. You just want to keep, because you want to get all that product out of your sponge and brush. So you want to keep kind of squeezing it. Make sure you don't feel anything or see anything. And if you see this, hopefully I'm not in the way. I'm just shook. Can I say that? I'm shook, shook, mm-hmm, shook. And let me show you another one that I really use and it gets really, really grimy is this one. And this is my MAC brush here that I love and I use all the time when I'm doing my makeup. want to get that all in there all in there yes I really wasn't intending on doing a video today I had my day all planned out and this was just one of the things I wanted to do but when I saw that it was oh it was getting all the makeup off and I'm like you know, some people probably having breakouts and don't understand why their skin breaking out. They feel like they are cleaning their brush because, like I said, I clean my brush. I do because I don't want to break out. But I see that it really wasn't getting it as clean as it could have been. You see that? Now I'm gonna get my soap. Just put a little dab in there. Work that all in. Turn the water. And make sure you get all that product out of your brush. And I have high-end, mid-end, low-end makeup brushes. I have a brush that I have had maybe 10 years that I got from, I think, Walmart or CVS years, years, years ago. This and is that brush. I use this. Every time I do my makeup, uh, especially my brows, I'm going to use this brush for my concealer. So... Um, and I cannot find a brush like this anywhere. Did you see that? Okay, so once you do that.
the young lady I saw cleaning her brushes, she, um, again, she used a oil-based cleanser. Um, well, she used coconut oil, which is a, I guess, an oil-based cleanser, but it was coconut oil. And um, she used some kind of another type of soap. She didn't use this, though. She didn't use that. That's just something that I decided to try. You want to keep squeezing until you don't see any makeup coming out of it. So this is a, another MAC brush that I use. I use this for my foundation. You see all of this. Now, this is one of the brushes that I love, but it is so hard to get in there and get it clean. I love using it. But when you go in between the um, bristle, you still can see makeup sometimes. So it just really takes me a lot of time to try to get in there and get, get it clean. So we're going to see how this going to work on this brush. So if it get this clean, mm -mm, I ain't going back to nothing else. I'm going to stay with this routine. Makeup still coming out. Yeah, this one is really, really hard to get to get clean. A little hand soap on there. Get in there. Get in between those bristles. Because you don't want again makeup and now you have bacteria that's sitting in your brush. And even though you've washed it, you haven't gotten it clean like it need to be. So now you have bacteria that's kind of like living in your makeup brushes. Okay, now I'm gonna use my water. Let's see. Oh, I've never seen it this time. Oh my goodness. When I tell you, it used to be a lot. I mean, and I would just scrub, scrub, scrub until I get so tired of doing it. And I just came to the point like, okay, well, maybe that's just not going to come out. And this is a matte brush. And actually, I use it just really to place the, found, the liquid foundation on my face. So, I mean... So would I tell somebody go and get this brush just to do that? No, not for the price. More soap on it. So I had to go through this whole routine twice. You see, it's still some makeup coming out of it. That's what I'm saying. With this brush, it just whole product. It really does. Ooh. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Guys, I stand by this trio that I have here. Again, you want to get some uh, facial cleansing oil. Here, I think I got this from Amazon last year. Um, and then you want, this is the secret sauce here, guys. You want to get your hand on this one. Just some hand soap. You want some antibacteria hand soap because you want to get rid of that bacteria. That's, that's what you want. You want to get 
rid of the bag. Again, if you have not taken a moment to subscribe, give me a big thumbs up because YouTube actually loves that and you can push it out to more people. So guys, I need your help. So give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment if you have a question um, or maybe you have a suggestion. Maybe you have came up with your secret sauce, how to clean your makeup brushes. And here with the Royal Nation, we love sharing. So if you have something that you want to share, leave a comment so we can all uh, learn some new techniques. So like you can always say, wear your crown with confidence. And until next time, I love you. Bye. Thank you.